today, Skull Draggers. Lee from Skull Drag Industries, and we're heading out today on Jarvis Bay, and uh, particularly out on St George's Basin with the local legend Scotty Barrett. He's over there and going to be targeting some Jewfish today. So, Scott's been having some awesome uh, success lately on the Jewfish, so we'll, uh, we'll come out here to tag along. He's going to show us how to do it. So, at the moment, we've chucked over a couple of divers. And we're going to head along some of this reef uh, country here as we head on out to a couple of hot spots and uh, and uh, a few little spots that Scotty knows. So come with us, we're going to have an awesome adventure. So as you can see, weather conditions today, we do have a little bit of wind. We've got a bit of chop, occasional break over the front of the PA. And uh, you're quite exposed here uh, in St George's Basin, especially at the moment from the direction the wind's coming from. So um, heading out here, you want to be pretty confident in your abilities and your craft before you head out, especially when there's a bit of wind around. And uh, a little bit of local knowledge also helps things. Make sure you wear your PFD. Maritime are getting around, We've just seen them earlier. Gave him a big old wave and kept on going. So uh, hopefully with a bit of luck we can find ourselves a fish or two. Come with us, we'll go and have an adventure. Now one of the things I've done with my setup for trolling today, basically because you're targeting really big fish and I don't want my drag screwed up real tight because if I do that, I'm only using plastic rod holders, even though they are rail blazers, I don't want to break those off. So I've adjusted my drag so that it is a little bit loose. Now, it has to be tight enough to be able to take the shock of the impact of the fish taking the lure and the first run, but at the same time, enough drag to actually be able to sink those barbs in and get those hooks in nice and deep. Um, and that's gonna be key. So adjust your drag settings is very important, especially when you're fishing for bigger fish like that, because once the fish, go, once the fish goes off and you actually go hook into it and, and start the fight, you can then actually do your drag up a little bit by little bit to actually put a bit more hurt on the fish to get it into the into the kayak or bring the kayak to the actual fish so very important to make sure otherwise you break your rod holder off and it goes west with all your gear all right the big fella's on it's taking a little while today but he's on <laughs> let's go over and take a bit of a look You good? Hey? Okay. okay. Oh, he's a stonker. <laughs> well done, man. About time something started happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's all right. I was hoping he was going to stay down a little bit and didn't jump, but yeah, wrong species. He's got it down there, didn't he? Yeah, man, geez, he's, he's a stonker. Look at him. Yeah, what a ripper. So the technique we're using is just trolling. So essentially, and I've got a couple of diving lures down to around about that five to six meter mark thereabouts and we're trolling in about six to seven or eight meters of water so essentially by putting those two big lures out the sides and then making our way through around about that 3.8 to 4 kilometer an hour mark and um, just trying to see whether or not i'm using side scan to actually see if i can locate any of these guys in the water and then be able to turn around and come back you can mark them on your side scan and then come back and try and find the girls again. But uh, yeah, here's hoping. Running out of time. Daylight's starting to fade and we're already getting text messages from home saying, where are you? What time are you gonna be home? So let's fingers crossed, see what we can do. How'd you go? Flatty. Oh, flatty. Yeah. Oh yeah? That looks like an ingredient. It's starting to rain, maybe. We should be looking for a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Yeehaw. 
Let's see if we can find it. We're on, baby. We're on. There are some big head shakes there. Oh, and she's running. Yeah! <laughs> Just gotta keep on this girl. Oh, still got one more rod out there, but I think we're away from it. Heading in the right direction. Oh, nice big head shakes too. Oh. Just got to stay on this. She went off like an absolute rocket. Oh, that's a nice old fish too. <laughs> Been waiting all afternoon for this. Oh. I'm just settling in now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. That's it. In about six and odd meters of water. There she goes. <laughs> Tie yourself out, darling. Oh, good fish. Huge head shakes. Oh, no. Not done yet, oh, I'd say so. Now. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's the leader. Is she silver all right? Have a go at that. <laughs> He's not done yet. Come here, darling. Woo! Oh, yeah. She's still going. Oh, that's a funky stuff. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was just cool. <laughs> oh, man, did she go? Oh, I'll get this other line in, get that out of the road. Oh, man, that was far out. Was she going to? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> That. Okay, good, I'll tag it. Oh, look, let's. She's over a meter, she's probably not going to be that good at eating, really, is it? Oh, yeah. They are. <laughs> they are? Yeah. Well. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I've got to try and measure it. I don't think I've got a brag mat that big. Oh, That's him making the noise here. That's the, the croaker. Croaker. <laughs> yeah, baby. Proper over here as 
swim, eh? Right, well, there's only one thing better than catching a big girl like that, so I'm letting one go. So. Is awesome. Dollar five. <laughs> You're gonna be happy with that. Absolutely. Damn, man. Jeez, thanks man, that was awesome. <laughs> oh man, and that's what it's all about. Woo! That was absolutely epic, and especially out of the act. Can't thank you enough, man. <laughs> oh dear. It's awesome to catch a fish that big, but it's just even better to be able to let him go, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, well, it was funny because the girls texting me going, when are you going to be home? And I'm going, oh, another hour yet, another hour yet. <laughs> and then always straight after that, the line goes off, so. Yeah, but, uh, that's good. Yeah, but Scotty, thank you, mate. That's just absolutely awesome. That's what you brought there. Um, just, yeah, mate, absolute pleasure to come out with you and, and have a look around, mate. It's been, uh, it's been awesome, so. Yeah, but just goes to show you that they're here. We, we mucked around all afternoon. It was uh, literally just trolling back. It's only half an hour late from home. Half an hour late, yeah. You said four o'clock today. So. so not bad at all. No, it's all good. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, mate. <laughs> well, that's it. That's made my day. That's an absolute cracker of a fish. So thanks very much for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next time out on the water.